Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 23 player review. Today's player review is the level 30 Tony Kroos. So let's get into it. As always, I start off with the team that I used for this review. Now, this review is, I think, the first review where I've actually used two different teams. So the one on the screen right now is the team that I used first. And then this is the team that I use for games two and three. So with that being said, let's look at my stats after my three Rivals games. As you can see, I played three games in Rivals, scored five goals and got three assists. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go. Silver into Tony Kroos, finish it off in the bottom left hand corner. Silver yet again with a drag back into Kroos, takes a pass Booth on, smashing it into the same corner as prior. Then this time Silver once again into Kroos, rinse and repeat, three goals on his debut. This time Kroos running at the defence, Gracie tries a back heel, Kroos is there to intercept it fortunately. Crossing it, back post, returns the favour to Thiago Silva. And that is the game done and dusted. Into game number two, Havertz into Kroos. Weaker left foot, but he does have those five star, or he does have a five star weak foot. Kroos returning the favour for Havertz. My opponent said au revoir. Well, technically it should be Alvida saying because he's German. The penultimate clip of the gameplay. Kroos using his agility and balance to get past the defence. And this is the final clip. So I will be back with the pros and cons in a second. Into the pros for Kroos we go. First of all, is his pace. Now, the reason I bring up his pace is because he has the control run type, and normally the control run type is absolutely shocking, but he did feel very fast in game. Shooting, as you saw, he did get five goals. In his first game, he did get three of them, and they were basically rinse and repeat, and that is down to his 96 shot power. Passing is basically just maxed out with an engine, so I don't really know what else you would expect. With an engine, he has 94 agility and 98 balance, and you could really tell it in-game. As you saw from the gameplay, he was dribbling left, right and centre, making defenders fall flat on their backside, and just was an absolute joy to play with especially when he was on the ball and then obviously his five star five star is just a massive addition to this card onto the cons for Kroos it would have to be his physicals now considering it says that he has 90 strength he definitely doesn't it felt more like in the 60s jumping and aggression didn't win anything in the air the only stat that is correct in his physicals is the 95 stamina, but otherwise this card is fantastic for his physicals. Do I still think that you should take Tony Kroos from level 30 for season 7? And for me, I would have to say yes, especially if you are going to play him as a cam. He's a fantastic card, 5 star, 5 star, he's got good pace. Great shooting, incredible passing, and dribbling is on another level. Considering he's six foot, I really was not expecting him to actually have such good agility and balance. He feels great on the ball. He's a playmaker. He's a goal scorer. He's just a fantastic card to play with, especially if you have him in either a 4-3-1-2 or a 4-3-3 fourth variation because the cam always gets involved and 
this card you just want to get him on that ball because he will change the game massively and that's what I found out from the first game when he wasn't on the ball nothing really happened second half came around I started getting him on the ball a lot lot more and suddenly I won that game 6-3 so for me I would definitely recommend taking him from level 30 but if you do need the fodder then obviously take the 84 times 30 I'd like to thank you all for watching this video if you did enjoy it drop a like comment down below what you think about the new player review thumbnails would just like to hear some feedback and if you're new hit that subscribe button but for now i'll see you in the next one